Hi everybody, I'm Pastor Bill. Uh, I'm out here at my homestead. You can see this uh, beautiful old shed and there's my house over there. There's my pickup truck. And um, this is my new channel. And so what I'm gonna be doing on this channel here is uh, uh, fixing things. I like fixing things. Uh, I'm retired now from my day job. I was a, a master mechanic, a master, excuse me, a master electrician. And I've been a mechanic in my life. Uh, I've done everything from construction to everything else. So we're going to have all kinds of different videos on uh, on things. We'll go through my struggles and and everything else. And uh, I wanted to start this one off off with something really good. And I hope you guys can you know give me some information and everything else, uh, especially when it comes to maybe getting parts on these things. And uh, so my son came across a tractor. It's very old. Uh, it's a diesel motor, and it's uh, it's called a uh, Mitsubishi Satoth. Maybe it's pronounced something else. I'm not sure. And uh, it's a S370. It's just a little tractor, a little garden tractor. And we're gonna we're gonna restore this thing as best we can to new, maybe not new, but we're gonna try restoring it. And you're gonna be along here with me if you stick with me. Uh, if you like these videos, press like uh, and share them with your friends. And uh, there may be some information that uh, maybe you have one of these little tractors and you're going to try to do it and maybe finding some parts. And uh, we'll go through all these struggles together. We'll also have different projects. I like working on motorcycles and on trucks and cars and on homes and stuff like that. So if you think that this might be something you might want to watch, it, it might be a lot of fun too. You never know. All right, so on this first project here, it's underneath this tarp. I'll see if I can get this thing here. That's, I'm, I'm uh, low tech here. It's underneath this tarp. It's in rough shape. I've been wanting one of these little tractors forever. And here it is. It's a little, uh, I mean, it's rough. It's rough. Uh, the engine has a crack block in it. Right down in here. We're hoping that the the internal parts, there's no cracks in it, just on the external. We'll uh, go through the, the best type of stuff to seal it up. Uh, maybe epoxy, maybe we'll weld it. I'm a fairly good welder. My head is out of the picture here. As you can see, she's in rough shape. She's been abused over the years. I do know that my son seen it running with a gas rag on the intake. Uh, so it does start, we have ignition system issues, uh, some other system issues, and uh, we'll get, we'll go over it. Uh, It's a little two-cylinder diesel motor. It's missing bolts on the valve cover, so somebody already had parts of this apart. We're going to go ahead and take this thing apart today, the cylinder head, and we're going to check and see uh, what's going on inside the motor. We'll show you the crack. Matter of fact, we can probably do that right now. We'll show you the crack. So the crack is right down here on the motor. You see someone tried to do some epoxying and the engine has water in the oil. So, and the head gasket is blowing out 
between the when it was running with the rag in it uh, gas rag in it uh, blowing out uh, from the head gasket so we're gonna we're gonna take the cylinder head off today and um, see what we can get going all right all right this is a little two cylinder diesel motor So the, underneath the valve cover actually looks fairly good. It's absolutely, uh, there is a gasket on it. There may be a broken bolt on the back side. Okay. Oh, it's just dirt. Good, good, it's just dirt. All right, now. My son welded this up. He thought he was gonna help me and make me some exhaust for it and get it run for me and some stuff like that. Let's go ahead and take off the, the temp sensor. I'm not sure if we're going to restore this back to brand new, but I plan on restoring it. Do I put it back to the original paint? Do I, you know, modify it? Who knows? We'll just see where we go. May. I guess we better see if this thing even turns over. <clears throat> yep, crank moves. That's a good sign. All right, this, guess we gotta get the injectors next. Means I gotta go get some wrenches. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. We just moved into this house. This is my wife's family house and there's no garage here. And the house that we did have had a beautiful three car garage. And I had lots of toolboxes and everything else. And I don't even have toolboxes anymore, but I do have tools, but they're inside the shed stacked up. Down, I mean, there's just loads of uh, Black Widow spiders in there. And I was gonna get some of my wrenches out, but it was just a lot of hassle. So I just got me some of the tools that I keep in my pickup truck. Oh, that came off there. We'll just we'll just keep that. <laughs> All right. Now let's see. Well, fuel lines are off. Water lines are off. Let's go ahead and tackle them head bolts. They're a fairly good size. Twenty-two millimeter.
I have a complete gasket set coming for the, oh, whoops, I gotta take the valve train off first. My bad. Go ahead and get that valve train off. Right at 14, 14 millimeter. But this kind of stuff doesn't scare me. I used to be a, a diesel mechanic. And this is this is pretty uh, standard stuff here. A lot of the stuff that is on the engine, Mitsubishi don't even make. Like I'm pretty sure these fuel injectors and the alternator and some of the other stuff that's on here. Look at that, I see water already. Water is already in the, so that means that it's been rained on and everything else. That's probably where the water's been getting in the motor, I hope. I hope. All right. So, um, push rods actually look good. Yeah, that's not too bad. And the oil does not shoot up the center of them. All right, now we can get to the, the head bolts. There may be uh, 120, maybe more, you know? That's actually fairly loose. I'm kind of kind of worried about that too. May have some head bolt stretching. Oh, it's been off. It's been off. And we know that the, the water had frozen in the block and they tried That was pretty loose. <laughs> I mean, it was just finger tight. Most of the time, these things are, are 
are very similar to like brake lines, like brake lines on motorcycles and stuff like that. They got a copper fitting, a uh, copper washer. There we go. No biggie. Uh, we want to keep all this stuff and keep it clean. Get the cylinder head off and we'll take that, that line off so it can keep it in good shape. It's actually missing one of the copper washers. We'll pick up the, I don't know, maybe that one's copper too or aluminum. We'll clean them up. Keep all your bolts. All right, now let's take that. See, well, we're going, we're doing this all together here. All right. Ugh. Just because it's small, don't mean it ain't heavy. Right, the bottom of that head looks really good. You can see where she had been running. That's actually, that's good. That's a good sign. All right, let's move this out of the way. Man, that, that little head's heavy. All right, let me check the video, see if we can see down in there. I'm gonna move you a little closer. Can you see that? All right. Here we go. Let's zoom in and zoom in here with my greasy fingers. So one of the things we want to do is, is check for cracks. Now, what I do see down in there, there is a worm. I'm not lying. There is a worm down in, it wants to crawl down through the intake. I don't know if you can see that or not. A little caterpillar worm <laughs> on top of the piston. So let's let's check check the cylinders. Let's see what we see. This cylinder is in a down position. Really can't see it on the video. Let me get my eyeball down in there. Ah, put this thing back to where you can see. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and pull that gasket off. You wanna, you wanna keep the gasket for several reasons. On, on motors that are really old, I don't know what's going on there. On motors that are really old, you may not be able to buy head gaskets. And there are tricks on making head gaskets. This material here is not the problem. The, the problem is this material right here. And you can, you can uh, make this portion of the head. You can make this out of other gasket material and then make this part out of uh, uh, aluminum or soft copper. Or you can actually make a soft copper head gasket. They used to do that for years on race cars, trying to get them slimmer and slimmer to make more compression. All right, let's let's take a look at that. I do have a head gasket coming, so we don't have to make one, but you can make them. All right, so the crack in the block is basically right here. And the cylinder on this side, we gotta get that little guy out of there. That's that's what we gotta do. We gotta let it, we gotta let him free. Come on out of there, little guy. Oh yeah, he's still alive. Come on. Come on, baby. Jump on that screwdriver. I don't know how long you've been living in living in there. Let's get him over to the center of the piston. Maybe if I raise the piston up the top dead center here. Ugh. Come on, 
Okay, I just killed him for sure now. Alright. Oh man, the top of the pistons look awesome. They are in excellent shape. Let me see if there's any. Sometimes if the motor has been uh, rebuilt, they'll have uh, markings on them, whether they're 10 over or 20 over or 30 over. And it just has an arrow pointing towards the front. You, know, you can still see, I don't know if you can see it, but there's still cross hatching. <clears throat> All these cylinders are in excellent shape. Still cross hatching in them. That's a good sign. This motor is going to be a runner, and no doubt about it. This motor, I'm, I was really threatening that uh, we were going to have problems getting this motor running, but I have, I don't see no issue with getting this motor running. I think we can rebuild the cylinder head and uh, put a head on it, work on the ignition wires. And I think we can just all there is to it. Put my, I got a tool that grabs the lifters and we can pull them straight out. This block does not have um, sleeves in it, but it looks in excellent shape. I mean, it just looks good. So next thing we're gonna do, I guess, we're gonna start uh, working on the cylinder head. All right, so here we are. This is the, my first video. Uh, please press like if you like what you see. You know, these old tractors, you know, they don't need to be going to the junkyard. They need to be fixed up and keep running. Just because they're old, wow. We gotta do something with that steer in there. Just because they're old, don't need to, need to be going to the junk heap. Uh, what we need to do is fix them up. You know, sometimes a lot of these parts are not readily available that that doesn't mean you can't fix them. We're gonna get this motor running. We're gonna get this tractor driving. We may have to replace a fuel injection pump. Uh, it looks like Mitsubishi don't even make that. So we might be able to buy that uh, aftermarket somewhere. Uh, if that one may work. But anyways, we're gonna get this tractor running and uh, you'll be here with us. So if you like what you see, if you think this is what you want to watch we're going to be fixing all kinds of stuff we're going to be working on motorcycles we're going to be working on the tractor we're going to restore this this thing is going to look like brand new when we're done uh we're going to work on maybe race cars uh problems in the home uh ponds you name it we're going to be working on all kinds of stuff um rvs you name it, we got it. We're going to be doing it. Customizing, customizing, and more customizing. So uh, uh, you stay tuned. The next uh, um, video we're going to do is going to be restoring the cylinder head on this sucker. So like I said, I got a complete gasket set coming. Uh, we're going to uh, clean these the, all the gasket material off it and restore that cylinder head. Show you how to lap the valves in. Check, make sure the cylinder head is straight. And uh, we're going to get this thing running. You'll see. So uh, you stick with me.